video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the premium brand for men's grooming and hygiene products across the globe. First thing in the morning, we walked up to a booth and right away, check this out. We got these old, what are these called? I never know what these small VHS tapes are called. I know Ricky just got the player for it, but Conan the Barbarian and even some more anime VHS in here, Macross, Tenchi Muyo, and then also Ninja Resurrection. I love how these uh, VHSs are white as well. So again, super early, super dark. We'll hit you guys soon, but it's first walk up and feeling great. All right, so right after that, I spotted a Simpsons VHS lot. Super sick, super awesome, and I feel really dumb. These are called Betamax. I don't know how I forgot that, and I feel dumb, but that's okay. Ricky's grabbing a ton. All right, I know the lighting is still horrible, but this, we just came across this, Ricky did. Call of Duty Xbox 360, just right here. Oh, the Reach Edition. Yep, Reach Edition, it's got the controller as well. And Ricky, how much did you say for? 35. So are you buying it? So. <laughs> if you don't, bro, just pass it on over. <laughs> all right, all right, Dusty was holding us something, and uh, he's gonna check it out. Oh my gosh, there it is. I can see it through the car. I'm gonna buy it, I'm taking it home. Oh, maybe I'll buy it for Ricky. It's Ricky's birthday. Shh. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, thank you, sir. You All right, there you go. Ricky's grabbing some parts. Is it pretty heavy? Not too bad here. Let me go close this door for you so you can get like through. Prep, you know, the press wood. Good wow, old. yeah. Ikea Nintendo furniture. Oh my Ooh. gosh, dude, these are sick. I've always wanted one of these. Really? <laughs> so, uh, what are you kind of thinking on it, Dust? I was gonna do like, I was gonna ask 300. I noticed uh, you can find like the skinny ones, but this one I couldn't really. The fatter one? Point. Yeah, I couldn't find as easy. He's got to get more little tabs, but that's... Oh, okay. Easy. Oh, that has that on there, the table side. It actually has the red on it. Yeah, that's why, that's why I waited, bro, because I had to go back in the room and find the shelf. Dang. That's why I didn't bring it, like, weeks ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pretty okay. sick, huh? Yeah, it's yeah super, super sick. sick. Look at what Dusty's bringing over right now, Ricky. Oh, dear. We'll, we'll put yeah. it in a package. Okay, we'll put it in a package. Yeah, how about that? Let's see what we got over here. So... Oh boy, Not the Gears of War giant. It's in there, dude. Oh, it's in there? This whole statue and everything? Yeah, everything's complete, dude. Okay, Ooh. and then we got a whole bunch of yep. goodies in here. Some other Dragon Ball. Oh, look at this one, Ricky. This nice, dude. Nice. Sick. How much you uh, kind of thinking? How you doing? I'll say like 1200 Let me look a little. Oh, you got, okay, this got good these. ones are in there. There's a SP, a these. We got these. All right, so we've still been at this booth for a while. Ben, look what I just bought. <laughs> So we're looking at all this right now, but Ricky, show them kind of some of the bangers in this lot. We got poking earlier. Zelda. We got. I know those are those are hefty, gold, hefty bangers. Platinum and then yeah, yeah, I know. So yeah, there's I don't know. We don't know exactly the number that's of value in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. More Game Boy games in there. This is complete, but we're thinking it's probably worth like 14 maybe in total. That's just kind of literally an estimate. So we don't know. So we're gonna go. We're gonna tell you guys about what happened over there in a second. We'll tell you in a sec. How much is this? Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. You got the Commodore. You got the controller, and you got ooh some of the drives with it. Oh, Ricky's looking at shirts. What you got? Camel motocross. <laughs> <laughs> Camel motocross. Check what size is this? Dude. What else? What else? Uh, no, the Camel other ones are... XL kind of beat. Yep. How much? Oh, like Pokemon cards. Ladies and gentlemen, we bought all of it. It's mine. You understand? Mine. All mine. All of it. So basically in how it's working is Ricky's buying um, the games pretty much. Um, Ricky's buying most of the games and I'm taking this guy home. I've been wanting one of these for so long. Ever since my buddy NES Addict showed me that he bought one, I was like, I have to get it. Dusty literally held this stuff for us. Literally. It doesn't get crazier than this. It does not absolutely get crazier than you're starting your day like this. Ricky, we've been waiting for someone to prove us wrong that we, some, that we don't get good deals at the swap meet. I, I, I don't know. It's actually not that heavy. Now, how are we gonna get all your games in here, Ricky? What games? You know, we have seriously need to figure out our. We need to buy a bigger boat, basically. Maybe we should get a. Uh, put that other thing first. That's a good idea, Ricky. <laughs> but Ricky, that's called thinking, and I don't do that very often. So Ricky loaded up on like insane stuff. Okay, I'm making sure I'm not crushing anything. Oh yeah, there we go. This will fit just. Just right, look at that. And then we'll get this guy on top. Oh, what are we doing? We've been here for like 20 minutes, two booths. We haven't gone down the road. And we're like thousands of dollars deep. Cool, cool, no big deal. Never showed it at the last booth. The guys, haven't this is crazy. Ricky got, look at the Back to the Future Betamax. And he bought some other uh, VHS, oh, some other Betamax, Monty Python, Animal House. 
I got more. We're like thousands of dollars deep, two minutes into the swap meet. Oh, cool, wow. cool, you know? <laughs> Manscaped is trusted by over 8 million men across the globe for products like their trimmers, hygiene and shower formulations, and premium boxers. And here we come again changing the grooming game with a brand new product. As a subscriber to my channel, you are getting one of the first looks at the Weed Whacker 2.0. This is a nose trimmer and a ear hair trimmer. Have you ever gone on a date where you go look in the mirror like halfway through the night and you're like, oh my gosh, I have unpleasant hairs coming through this? will save the day. Nothing, no pain, all the way up. Oh God, that was scary, but nothing. That just works and doesn't hurt. The premium Manscaped Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear trimmer has a powerful 7,000 RPM motor with an improved steel blade system and upgraded cutting performance from their first generation Weed Whacker 1.0. Better whack those weeds. The Weed Whacker 2.0 is cordless, rechargeable, and has a battery with up to 45 minutes of runtime. Also, the Weed Whacker 2.0 will be in all Manscaped tool sets, including the Platinum Package 4.0 and the Performance Package 4.0. So no matter what kit you pick, you will receive this new Weed Whacker 2.0. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off, plus free international shipping when you use promo code PGS at checkout. That's 20% off, plus free shipping with promo code PGS at manscaped.com. Thank you, Manscaped. I appreciate Back to whacking weeds. Ooh, look at this. That branding though, Dusty, huh? Fast times at Ridgemont, Ridgemont High. Music from the motion picture. Oh man. Oh man, there's probably some good stuff in here at least, you know? But uh, I don't have the time to dig right now because I want to go look for more games because we got a sickness, someone's got to cure it. Right here. <laughs> All right, also, I was going to buy that for Ricky's birthday, but I scratched that because I could tell, honestly, he didn't have room for it. Like, even before I said anything, he's like, dude, I don't have room for that. Hopefully you buy it. And I was like, okay, next, we'll, we'll try something else today to get him for his birthday. Tell the audience what you just said. How much did you save for that skateboard? $10 for that skateboard. Oh, $10. oh my $10. gosh. <laughs> I walked up and he's like, 10 bucks. Ricky, 10 bucks, bro. I mean, uh, that's pretty sick, bro. Uh, uh, you know, let me let me ride over to you. Ooh, it even rolls nice. Yeah, all right. it's, it's beautiful. All right, all right, you got change. I'm thinking about you, bro. Dang, bro, thank you. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Thank oh you, my thank gosh, you, dude, man. This might be the wildest swap meet we've ever had, like right dude, out of the is, gate. Like, yeah. like, dude, he just sold me this for ten bucks. Like last week, I was gonna pay him like fifty for it. Wow. And it rolls actually. Ricky, roll on this thing. Ricky's not as much of a skateboarder. There's a fair fair warning to everybody that he, mongo pusher. That he could. Oh, you're a mongo pusher, hey, bro. Don't disrespect my board like that. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. But look. Oh, dirty. so dirty. So, oh. Wow. Look at that guy go. Don't worry. We have a ton of room in our cart. No problem. You just bought that Bart? Yeah, Was that sir. a bootleg Predator Bart? Yeah. That's that actually back, see? awesome. Well, see that right here. Bro. Cone, how much was it? 80. Sold. Oh, there's a box? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, just to give you an idea of what the swap meet's like this morning, look around us. Like, look around us right now. I'm in absolute shock of this morning. I'm in shock of this morning. Ooh, I might have to pick this up too. I love Tunesylvania stuff. Ricky, let me see that. Oh my God. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. 60 you know, bucks. Fire. So it goes in here, it has the original box. Paramount Pictures, Conehead, by the way, Dan Aykroyd. Uh, I feel like this is a great deal. I'm, I'm actually like, that's it. When he said 80, I was like, really? And then he just went to 60 because we buy a ton of stuff from him. So I'm jumping in right now to say, stay till the end of the video. I promise you this sign is gonna become a hundred times cooler than I even knew. Who is that, Ricky? The Luigi hat? and a possible toad hat, I don't know. Oh, you gotta put that on, dude. Just Ricky looking dumb. If you wear that the whole day, I'll buy you breakfast. <laughs> Look at this though, Tomb Raider Laura Conf. Oh, it's the in-motorcycle gear one. That's when they like made her more edgy. That they gave her that extra vibe. <laughs> Although I'm, I, I used to collect Tomb Raider stuff, but I haven't really been dying to collect Tomb Raider stuff as of recent. But what a booth today. Question for Ricky. Ricky, do you know what our gang is? Oh man, it says right there. <laughs> our gang was what it was the called be before Little Rascals. <laughs> Dang it. literally as far as the eye can see is like vintage toys and stuff for us. Like it's unreal. There's tons of VHS over there. This might be the craziest day so in, in years, in years. How do we say it without sounding like jerks? Oh my gosh, your microphone's been upside down. The whole Ricky, this was hanging on by a thread. Ricky, this is $250. <laughs> we can't say enough how often we say that we find just 
unreal, unreal, unreal. And this is another one of those mornings. Again, that's it. It just, I don't, not even bragging. I just, I'm dumbfounded. I the know. items Ricky may be buying right now. Powerpuff. 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 Oh, yeah. Wait, this is um, schnitzel. What is it? Small soldiers toy. Yeah. Magoo. What is it? Yes. Schnitzel. He Man toys. He Man toy. Oh, I like that actually a lot. <gasps> Exo Squad. Let me know if you don't get this. That's oh, true. Care Bears, you got Luigi hat, toad you got hat. the Toad hat. What did I just You're drop? dropping a Care Bears watch right here that Ricky's looking at buying. Ooh, Some a Rugrats rug play set. Uh, and what is this? Uh, so he's in pieces, but I think I'm getting it back together. But I actually have this, it's acid. One of the Transformers. They just got a picture of this. They said they we, they watch us every week. and we're, we're, they, we're always on their TVs, they said. I mean, look, you can see the first hand that Ricky's addiction is real. This is so cool. Old Pac-Man. Oh, no, they wrote on it, and it's curmudgeon. This is one of the coolest little posters, though, because it is actually vintage. Look at that from Scholastic, from old school books. So this is what they advertise like with school books. I used to love Scholastic, like Clifford and all that type of stuff. So I don't even know what to say today. Like every stinking where I look, look at that right there. Not the mama. And then there's this Atari 410. The 400 is here. You got the Atari. Is this all of it? Oh my gosh, it's all in here. I could literally spend thousands of dollars today at the swap meet. I like don't even know how to, what in the world? It's cool thing after cool thing at every second. Fun fact, Curtis, when I was a kid, I was on cops. No. My whole family was, no yeah. A, a drunk driver ran full speed into yeah. a tree that was in our front yard and I was watching Jungle Book and the cop said if the tree wasn't there, it would have killed me. He wouldn't went through the house. He was going like 75 miles an hour right into our house really? and hit a tree. And then the scene showed up and cops was there. And you better bet I was out there like filming. I'm like, yo, what up? My name is Riff, subscribe to Pixel. No, I was kidding. <laughs> Last time I want, a lot of you guys really liked the pennants that we showed, but uh, yeah, there's some really cool ones like that Seattle Space Needle, the Knott's Berry Farm one is one of my favorites, but my favorite is this Death Valley right here. But to be honest, he's asking 50 bucks each. So I'm out on that. No no price shaming, that's not what we do, but I'm out for sure. Yo, that thing's sick. Little single dingle, baby, what? It has the McDonald's branding yeah. on it. Bro, that's not a single dingle, bro. It's gotta be, right? It's double. What's going on right now? Yeah, it's double, bro. Don't lie to me, bro. You What an idiot. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, Dang. wow. Actually, though. Sheesh. This is probably the craziest day at the Swamp Meet in a very long time for Dude. us. So, that booth that was over there a little bit ago, super good booth, but it wasn't like high price. It just was like we already spent a lot of money, so I didn't yeah. want to jump yeah. in. What are we down here? I don't know, like 1500 bucks or something. Pretty but cool. such, I think, Ricky, though, although this is clearly the best thing I oh, got, coolest thing. Something about this is just like. Bro, I think that's the buy. Dude, I, as much as I like the Mario Kart, like I think this that might be is, like the buy of the day. I, I don't know, man. When I look at this, I'm just like, there's no way. Ricky called him far away. He called the, the Ninja Turtle down there and I called the Home Alone 2 board game. That's kind of how we have to work these days. It's like we see things from a corner and we're like, who's calling it? Who's getting it? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's so cool. I guess yes, he looks awesome. Hey, good morning, how are you? That's the memory card. That is so cool. Are you getting it? I'm not gonna stop you, but I'll take it if you don't, because that is awesome. Are you sure though? I'm not gonna play that game. <laughs> Homie, don't play that? <laughs> we don't play that. How much, Ricky? 25. How about the board game? How much? Okay, cool. I'll take that one for 10 bucks. I love Home Alone too. And then definitely gonna grab this uh, Tomb Raider. Ricky's always had these loose, but we've never had one in the case like that. Super cool. What's that California Raisins thing right there? Is that a sheet? It's a bed sheet, watch this. Let me, let me show you. Oh, Ricky's gonna show me. While he, I'm doing that, while he's doing that, look at this Marvin the Martian mask right here. Oh, really? Okay, I'm not a, a, a Cabbage Patch kid by any means, but if I was, this one's sick. Look at this Cabbage Patch, Ricky. Freestyle CPK. That's pretty cool. That's sick. This one's dripping. Oh yeah, and then you got that right there. It's funny because I just I just picked up a Betamax Conan earlier. Bro, like, oh yeah, the Red Sonja. So I never know Red Sonja, Red Sonja. I had the poster for that, Ricky, the uh, Red Sonja. So I did pick these up, Ricky. I got them both. <laughs> home Alone 2, is Home Alone 2, Home Alone 1 still better than Home Alone 2 to you? Or do you like Home Alone 2 better? Home Alone 1 better. Okay. I still, I felt like you would have been a Home Alone 2 guy more but I don't know. I, I mean, mean, they're both amazing. I Let's hear it, Ricky. One of your talk boy quotes. Credit card, you got it. <laughs> look, at, look at our dirty work. Look at Curtis carrying me and Ricky's stuff. <laughs> Hold on, Curtis, there's more for you. There's more. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is quite literally hilarious. So you bought them. 
Got him. The Conan, basically oh the gosh. Lords of Thunder collection. Look at that. <laughs> Ricky, they're, they're Converse Batman tap shoes. <laughs> if you're gonna tap, that's the best way to tap. To get that. My kids do do some tap dancing, so that'd be pretty sweet. What'd you end up getting, Ricky? All right, so I got the awesome power, the mini me, and of course, yeah. I had to pull a Mike Wolf and get the Harley Davidson. Yeah, baby. That's like one of the coolest things, dude. Did you guys feel this? Lift this? Hold this. Feel how heavy this is. Don't drop it, it's very, very. Yeah, and the, the guy's loose. Oh, yeah. Hold it's that like a 60s toy. Holy cow. Yeah. I had to. Ooh, look, manuals. Skater die, skater die. I could use some of these manuals, actually. How much are the manuals? Five? Any that I need, though? That's the real question. What is this one? This is, is this a like Bonnet Commando? Okay. Is this Bonnet Commando? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Bonnet Commando to the earth. I'm seeing if there's any I like need, need to complete some of them. Yeah, that's the one I, I like. But I don't think I need it for five bucks. I have a lot of these things, but dude, this is sick. Did you just buy this? How much was it? A bunch of things for 25 bucks. 25 bucks for all that? This day is stupid. <laughs> all right, back to view. Oh, I just got a super sick Highlander, um, what do you call it? Highlander jacket. Oh, Ozzy Osbourne, Ricky? Look at this, bro. What kind of deal can you get on that? Oh, come on, man, I was going for a joke. Dang it. Look at Chuck Norris, hellbound. <laughs> Hey, I'm looking for one VHS. What, just one. Uh, which one? What one? Uh, uh, I'll little keep monsters. an eye out for you. Little Monsters. All right, little Ricky, monsters. I'll keep an eye out. We're going to find it right now. Hey, Ricky, I found Little Monsters right here. I'll sell it to you for 50000 Churros. Still diving through VHS, but right now I'm currently sitting at uh, Short Circuit, Weird Science, Lat Starfighter, Body Snatchers, The Evasion Continues, and Short Circuit 2. All uh, right, what am I looking at for these guys right here? How many I got? One, two, three, four, three, five, six, five. seven. So what's the se what's the, the seven? Uh, ten, Fifteen. Fifteen? All right, I'm in. Sounds good. I could talk about movies all day. Um, I got Scooby-Doo sealed right here. King Kong versus Godzilla. The Short Circuit movies, both of them, absolutely amazing movies. One and two. Uh, Weird Science, super cool. Uh, Last Starfighter, great condition. This is an underrated movie, a fantastic movie. And then Ricky snagged a whole bunch as well. Rambo 3, Time Cop, because I always like the Van Damme stuff. Mr. Nanny. Amazing. Ernest, this just reminds me of Aaron, dude. <laughs> and then if you grew up right, you up. How much is this guy? I'm just kidding. <laughs> 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Oh, it's you. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's it What's it like to walk up and see? Oh, hey, 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 <laughs> dude, So this, this got this, so dude. And this is like filled with like $1,500 of Pokemon games. No way. Yeah. Say it into the camera. Marlboro men win. Never. <laughs> never, never looked inside of the Gears of War one. but And Dusty guaranteed us it was on here. But it's like, looks like it's never been touched. Sweet. Little virtual tour. This booth has like really cool, like, I wouldn't say necessarily like, perfectly our type of stuff, like gaming, but it's the type of stuff Ricky and I like that we don't necessarily show you guys on the show that we collect a lot of this type of stuff. Basically old, like American type stuff. Ricky and I really love, really inspired by the American Pickers and obviously my dad. What'd you just buy? It? I got Thundercracker Masterpiece. I don't, I don't even know a single thing oh. about that, but what makes it cool, Ricky? Tell me something. All right, so oh, it's a mushroom head. but it's dope because I need it. It's, it's the masterpiece in It's just you need it in your collection type piece. What in the world is this? The Omni Entertainment System and it takes cartridges? What the heck? I have never seen that in my life. So it, it almost like with the Milton Bradley, it like leads you to think it's like a board game of a sort. I, I'm 100%, I will not even pretend that I am intelligent. Tony, you know anything about this? No? Figured coming from the Camel Crew. <laughs> just kidding. Check it out, Ricky. So at this booth, this was two for five, Beverly Hills Cop Sealed, which is really good, really fantastic movie. But here's the one that got me, kind of got me a little excited. Double feature for HBO and Cinemax. That's it's crazy. a sales presentation, but look, Nickelodeon and MTV. So it's like Ooh. like a like a sales type thing they were gonna show to the, the people of the, the I, convention I like maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's red and it's sealed, so super unique item. I even looked on eBay and I didn't see anything on any of these. I didn't even see them existing. This so. could be well, the last this. one, dude. It could be. So that's why I like to buy the stuff that just isn't in existence because that's it. Oh, boy. I see it. The pinnacle <laughs> of my Marlboro collection. There's. I'm going to say right now there's no way. Like, I, well, I can't. I, even if it was, I, I couldn't. There's nowhere I could put this that would I could justify it. 
my wife would kill me if I tried to put this outside of our house, um, like in the backyard by the shed, but this might be the coolest Marlboro thing I've ever seen in my life, as of right now, currently. That's really cool. Wow. The, the hardest part about the Marlboro thing is it's only $140. Oh, is it, is it old I don't have room oh for God, it. Man. Don't be looking at that stuff, Ricky, you sicko. Oh, something else. Uh-huh. Sure, Ricky. Dude, it's only $140 for the Marlboro thing, but I can't. Even I, I can buy it. I totally can afford it. It's, it's okay. I don't have room for it. I have to force myself sometimes to say no. Wow. Wow. Dragon Ball Seasons. All sealed. Really cool. Riff. Yo. Oh. I wonder how much that is though, Ricky. What would we do with that? I mean, oh my gosh, that is like a massive. Wow, how much would you pay for it, Ricky? 20 bucks. Ask him how much. Dear God, I hope How much is uh, Homer? 40. Uh oh, oh I, I almost bought it. I was like, oh my gosh. There was a discretion right there. We got some decent shirts here, some decent shirts. None of them are super old, but it's funny. They have like that really old look, but they're not. They're all uh, not not super old, but I mean, I even like like branding, like when it's old, like this has like Save On on there. Like, oh, Save On. I used to shop there when I was a kid. Ooh, Fox 11 and KABC and Warner Bros. Hey, see? He's telling Ricky to make an offer on the stuck Simpsons in my stuff. room if I get it. <laughs> 20 bucks. Uh, that's true, we are close. That's true, that, that, that's, a, that's a big jump. It, it's because I told him, I'm like, listen, if it's 20 bucks, I'll take it. It was a bet. So now I have to get it. <laughs> Ricky, toss me, dude. Toss it to me and hopefully I don't catch it by the blade. Oh, dude, you could have killed me. You killed, we're literally tossing around knives here. Here, watch, I'll catch. That's a, that's a real one. Oh, is it real? Oh, shoot. You guys get to play with knives? Ooh, I've never, never seen this, Ricky. What is it? Christine from the movie. Christine, the car the horror movie. Christine. Oh, there's an Xbox 360 in the box right there. <laughs> I didn't see that. Just sitting right there by itself. We'll ask about that in a minute. Space again. We came our back time around, second time back around, and look at this, guys. Look at this. Power Ranger, Power Ranger, Power Ranger, Power Ranger, Power Ranger, Power Ranger, and oh, Miracle on 34th Street stuck, snuck its way in there, which is, by the way, a great movie. Ooh. Morphin series? That's kind of cool. More Power Rangers, more Power Rangers. Oh boy, guys, this could get bad. Oh, Big Bag Beetleborgs. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's see what else. Wow, this one, actually, what the heck? Look at this one, Ricky. What the heck? Oh, that's the Ninja Quest. But why do they look bootleg? Ricky, remember the old Christmas hit? I'm dreaming of a white ranger. <laughs> <laughs> we were on our way to pay Dusty for the big purchases we got earlier, and then somehow I walked out with all of this. <laughs> so I think I have a problem, Ricky, yeah. at this point. I think I, I'm okay with it. I'm looking at you and I'm like, man, maybe I shouldn't buy anything. Oh, you bought all this? Oh, wow. I might buy it, but... <laughs> oh, my God. Is that what I look like when I buy stuff? Oh, my. This is insane. <laughs> we gotta go pay Dusty now. How much are we paying him? You're Thank giving him 900, I'm giving him 200. <laughs> Something like that. He's got, <laughs> he's got money coming. I'll tell you that much. Dusty, 200 for me, sir. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, beautiful sir. Ricky's right here behind me somewhere. We just saw this cart in the middle of swap meet carrying around a bunch of disgusting movies. Who's, whose wagon is this? Blake? Is that you? Officially, probably one of the best days that we've had wow. in our lives at the swap meet. If I, I mean, I couldn't reiterate. We probably picked up over like 400 individual items. Again, this is full of all that Pokemon stuff, all the consoles, probably 100 VHS, Gears of War, this thing, 100 VHS over here, the Paramount sign loaded down there. Just probably, I mean, look at the end of this. Just a beautiful way to end the day. Let's have Curtis give us the For My Son for the day. Give him a little. Right? For my son. Okay, I'm sorry. I know we said goodbye, but we had to come back because we started going through our lairs and forgot about half of the stuff that we got. Like we pulled up the box and was like, Oh yeah, like there's a million more items that we got down here. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, it's just, this is just insane. So that Paramount Conehead sign that lights up and everything that's super amazing, and by the way, $60 is an insane deal. When I looked at the shipping box that it came from later, check this out. This Paramount sign was from Blockbuster Video in California. Holy stinking moly. For my sins.